Three. Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are we doing? It's Big P here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And today I'm joined by Mad Max, a.k.a. Max with the Volvo, a.k.a. the heart of a breadcrumb. How are you doing, Max? How you doing, Russ? I'm good. People emailing me, Max, send, sending me thumbnails about you, telling me that you've got about as many brain cells in your head as Benny from Crossroads. Well, we know that's made up, isn't it? You just figured that out. <laughs> I've just figured that out of the Max. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you some on my phone now. Because uh, I, I, I don't bullshit me, mate. I fucking, I'm just going to send my mate. Yeah, Andy, it's Big P. Listen, you know that I'm live on channel now with Max. So when this goes out, Max will see thumbnail. Can you change the thumbnail? Right, keep it as it is, but you know the lettering that you've got on the left hand side, top and bottom. Can you change it to Mad Max, the new Benny from Crossroads? If you can fit that on it, mate, that's fantastic. And can you send me it? to email porkycorner at mail.com. No capitals. Porkycorner at mail.com. All right. Cheers, mate. Hey, let me just show you the thumbnail, Maxie. I'll show you. Is that you, Max? Can you see it? Not properly. No, you got to send me it. Can't see it. <laughs> That's you, Max. What, 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 what? Why, why, why do we have to do that? Why do we have Max, to do this? Of course, you're a slow fuck. You remind me of Betty. <laughs> oh, cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know. <laughs> <coughs> Max, you could take a bit of bank now. I would be getting trolled and people saying I'm a bully and that. Max, I'm having crap with you. Oh, yeah, I don't, mate, mate. Quite a bit yeah. different, though. Max, I'm, I'm, I'm an old school geezer. Some of the things you come out with. Yeah, no. Sometimes I'm like, and, I, and I've took you everywhere. You've, you've seen all, you've seen all sorts. Probably some stuff you shouldn't see in that, but I trust you. But I, yeah, I no. things you come out with, Max. I don't know. I, I, don't, I think <laughs> I'm a bit of a fucking cringinator. Dot com. <laughs> Look, I'm not as bad as people like Gad and half the people who come on here. You got, hey, Max, you fucking get in there. Mate, don't even confuse the two. What about that picture Never. of you, Max? I've got on my phone. Hang on. I've got another one of you here, Max. <sighs> I'm going to put this one of you on here. Hang on. Where's it? Oh, it's here. I'm grabbing TV remote here. My head's fucking gone here, on it? Um, do you know what, what time is it? It's, it's quarter past eight. Quarter past eight. Not, I've got to be up at five to set off to Mickey Fields. That'll be brilliant, won't it? Good luck. I'll bet that doesn't happen. Big P down the smoke. Five. Oh. Well, if I get up at half four, so well, it is with me, you know. I, I, this is what I find, Max. If you have a full 15 minute shower and you actually do the 15 minutes, you don't have to just be washing yourself and rushing and that. Just, just do all that at first and then just stand under it for the remaining and take it up to 15 minutes. I think you get more done. So I'm. So I'm going to get up 15 minutes later, Max. And then I could travel there quicker. Instead of being Mr. I'm not getting another ticket because two more are banned, I could just stick toe down, 90, all the way there, and make up that minute, 15 minutes, can I? <laughs> I know where the camera slots are now because I've got this thing on my phone called Waze. Mickey Fio says to me, Hey, Bob, <coughs> you're doing it all wrong. Oh, what do you mean? He went, well, what is it? What it is, Sam? What it is, Sam? Where's Oh, you know what? I've just got two speeding tickets, Mickey. 37 and a 30 twice. He's gone, yeah, yeah, what is pork? Ways. This is what you need to be on. And they tell you where camera points are. Ways. Yeah, yeah, no. He swears by it, doesn't he? Mickey, yeah. So, well, me and Mick were going down this road. We're doing like 120 in this Bentley. I'm like, oh my God, it's a bit. I was like, Bit of a squeeze, one twenty in like a forty zone. 
And uh, I went, Mick, uh, don't you think, you know, going a bit quick, Mick, he's gone, yeah, it's all right, pork, uh, the uh, ways and meat yet to tell me where there's a camera. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, man. what's it with you, you lot? Do you're driving fast? I drive like normal. Yeah, you, know. Mickey, the drive, you drive like lunatics. Do you know what it is? I think you just want to get done, don't you, and get home, don't you, and get in bath and get chilled yeah. out. I'm, I'm in my element now. When I'm in here, I'm in my element. I don't have anybody in here. Only my dog, Rocky, a.k.a. the Rockinator. He's the only yeah. one that comes in here. I don't have anybody in here, if I can help it. I don't even like my kids coming in here when I've got them. I don't like, listen, I don't have scrubbers in here. Scrubbers, no. I don't have any, I don't have any wenches or viewers or scrubbers. You've had me in there. I'm a scrubber. Fuck, you fucking <laughs> there. Yeah, but when you were there, mate, I couldn't fucking jump out of bed to wring your neck, could I? I was like that. I couldn't <laughs> fucking move you up. Pull, pulling me up, could I? And every time somebody pulled me up, all that stuff was coming out my stomach, wasn't it? Your guns and everything. Yeah, it's bad, yeah. So, yeah. Now, listen, mate. We are what we are, aren't we? We've all had different upbringings, haven't we? Look at your up- you ended up in Feltham, didn't you, when you were a teenager? Well, felt- yeah, I ended up in rugby prison. Oh, rugby, sorry, sorry, rug- rug- rugby, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah as a teenager, yeah, yeah. weren't you? Yeah, 17, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, I've been in, well, when I did mine, it were detention centre. Uh, it were Watton, D.C., it's a nonce jail, that now. I, I did that when I, I, I all my mates round here, they were all at school writing to me. Oh, we're just in geography lesson here, Pork. It's shit. Oh, we're just in uh, RE lesson. It's shit. What are you doing? Well, I'm fucking doing porridge, aren't I? You know what I mean? Running around with bed packs like that. And when you, uh, at your yeah. age, I think I went from YP at all to men's at all. Well, people like Paul Sykes on them wings and stuff like that. And everybody was like, oh, I'm not getting a shower, Pork. I'm like, oh, why aren't you getting a shower? In case Paul Sykes comes down and knocks me out and bombs me. I'm like, well, I'm getting a shower. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, oh, Jesus Christ, man. People don't know they've got born now, do they, in jail? PlayStation and all that. And what about that Loudham Grange at Nottingham? Shower in your cell, phone in your cell, PlayStation <laughs> in your cell, and a fridge. Yeah. Yeah. How's that, what, how's that really bad when, you, when we're trying to stop people coming into this country? People are festering to go into a country where we can go out and rob banks and that because if we get... Anything above nine a nine stretch, we'll just put down to go to Loudham and Nottingham. Hey, what's all that about? Yeah. Hey. How many hours out of the cell you're allowed? To, where you're allowed? It depends, doesn't it? If you, it, it depends, doesn't it? What you're in block for, doesn't it? But if you go in, you go into a prison max as a standard. If you fuck about, you go on basic. And, and, and then you, I think you still get an hour out yourself there. I think you do on standard, but you get to go to do jobs and college and all that on standard. And in answering that, it's the same as standard, but I think you've got a TV in your pad and all that nonsense, aren't you? And extra time on mm. visits, you can spend extra <laughs> time and all that. And I think you get a, a TV on standard as well when you go in now and all that. So that's how it no, works. I, never I, I, I mean, obviously, I'm from old school, I'm from 80s and that. and you know, where, where I, did, like I didn't get of that. Hey, I did, see that's the thing because I was done for firearms. It was one of the extreme like charges. So when you, you know, yeah, I was uh, for a firearm. You had a touch match, didn't you, Max? Didn't you? Yeah, it could. It should have been. It should have been over a year. But it was because it was my first offence. And I know, they yeah. gave it seventeen. Don't say the kid's so, name. I asked you to save save the shooter. But we both know yeah. it. So you saved yeah, it yeah. for somebody, and then the next day you got raided. Well, no, 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 no. I'll tell you that. No, no. So I saved the shooter <clears throat> overnight, yeah. and they raided Obviously, they watched us or something. 
and they raid me, uh, me and my dad's house, gaff, uh, at 2 a.m. in the morning. And fucking hell, start bollocks, both of us out of bed. <laughs> Found the shoes within five minutes. What did you think to do in college, Max, from your upbringing? Because you played professional rugby, didn't you? And you had a bit of a, a decent upbringing, didn't you? <clears throat> well, that, well to, be, to be fair, that was, that was before I turned professional. I, the lifeline to get oh, out and get awesome. myself out of here. Yeah, to get out. Of, so to get out of the area I was in, to move up northeast or Hull area, yeah. was the lifeline of rugby league. And, you know, my dad, my dad really signed because I, I went into a sevens tournament in uh, Pocklington, where actually my mum lives conveniently now. Yeah. And what had happened was uh, John Keir, the manager, had a word with my dad. He says, look, you would make a good league player. I'd like to have him for 18 months. Without even knowing, my dad signed the papers, a contract, a provisional contract there and then on my behalf because I was still uh, under 18. Um and when on the way down, my dad goes, right, you're moving up to Hull. <clears throat> and I was like, what? And he goes, oh, I'm sick of you getting in trouble down there. You can fuck it off and you're going up Hull. I'm sick of it. And I was like, oh, right. I've rate your accommodation sorted. You're getting a car given to you. And that's it. You know. What car? So I was like, you? Oh, no. Go on. What was it? Um, Mini, Mini Cooper. From, from a dealership in all. Yeah. The, 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 they give them a hand. Know, I don't know about that, but we don't mention it on here. But, but my, 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 I've got pals down there, so I can't believe that around about that time that I was bouncing around that time down that area that you were Mr. Big Mr. Big Rugby League. You were like the white version of Ellery Hanley. <laughs> <laughs> Remember him? Yeah. And Martin the yeah, Fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were eight rugby league. Oh, Martin the Fire. Martin Fire is amazing. I used to love watching him. Brilliant. Is that what you modelled yourself on, Max? No, definitely not. Um, if it was anyone, I did. I tell you what, I did like Jason Robinson. Jason Robinson, um, I remember him. Yeah, yeah. What position did you play, Max? Just front row. I was just a prop or a second rower. I've got, uh, I've got some pictures here from when you were playing professional rugby league. Do you want me to stick one up in video, Max? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Well, it's not yeah. going to go out today, then. It'll be probably 1st of December. Are you all right with that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, fine, yeah. Okay, then. Yeah. Uh, so, basically, how did it feel, Max, getting, well, wait, about a grand a week? Was just it was so... It, 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 was, it, was, it wasn't quite that much. It was... It was near to that, but it depends on your performance. They pay your performance, so it'd be a basic of six hundred quid. But like they do statistics at half time at end of the like you know end of the game. So if you did enough, if you did enough carries, enough tackles, and your work rate's hard enough, they'd be topped up near a grand. So it was, well, they'd be it was watching good. the game back and that to see what your performance pay would be. Well, no, no, no. So it would be they had a play analyst on the sideline, and there'd be about three of them part of the reserves and they'd be just jotting down this and saying they would keep an eye on like that section of players that section of players and they're paid to do it because it was worth you got to think if there was other players getting paid that 400 quid top up that's a lot of money and some of them were on more than me they're on like grand and a half because they're the next so fucking stars it's getting like guaranteed 600 quid but it could rise up to like nearly a grand or something basically yeah yeah so it's like, well, right. how, how can that position well, where did you play uh, say again, sorry. What position did you play? Second row, basically, normally. So that a second row. I don't know fuck all about rugby because I think it's a sport of fucking gimps. Right, I'm football <laughs> boxing, Max. It's a gimp sport. But I don't want any big <laughs> players dragging me out of a fucking nightclub because of a rugby league or a rugby big rugby some big Bill Bowman bloke who grabs you out <laughs> where you fuck. Yeah, you know what yeah. really players do when they go in a nightclub. My mate come up to me. I goes, "You all right, mate? How are you enjoying your your new job as a doorman?" He's gone fucking hell, Porky. I hate it. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> Why's that, Brad? He's gone because these fucking rugby players they slip into a nightclub at beginning at night with the bird and all this and that, and everybody's coming in with the bird, and then end at night you've got a fucking full team in. <laughs> That's how 
fucking nightclub, isn't it? I said, yeah. what are you doing? He said, well, they're fucking free of us. They're, what the hell? they're pulling their own fucking drinks. You know what I mean? I thought, that, I thought that was quite funny. No disrespect against Dorman or prejudice against rugby league players or whatever. <laughs> Is that PC? Are we all PC now, aren't we? A fucking snowflake generation. Well, not, not, a, not all our rugby league players are crap at boxing. I'll tell you a little story. You know, have you heard a uh, rugby league player called Paul Gallon? Paulo? Paul Gallon. No, I've heard of uh, a, a footballer called Jason Gallon. <laughs> nah. So, Paul Gallon, yeah. right, he fought... Yeah, yeah. So, Paul Gallon had a fight with Lu- Lucas Brown, like, two years ago and beat Lucas, Lucas Brown, Brown, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, look it up. I- I'll send you the fight. So, you're an uh, ex-rugby league professional, Max. How old are you? 33 now. You're 33 and you've got an interview in the next few weeks with British Boxing Board of Control for your professional heavyweight licence, yeah? Yeah. Because you've got a sport under your belt where you're a professional at rugby league, Cameron, stick a picture of Max into this, looking like a total dick in his skid-tight shorts. We Cheers, got, mate. <laughs> like fucking Sammy, Sammy the, Sammy the Bull Gravano. <laughs> a rat. Max, you don't look too pretty in that rugby league gum shield, do you, on that photo? Mate, I don't think you care when you're fucking hammering. I'll tell you what, when you've got when you're taking a bust or you're taking the ball in, there's three of them straight on you. I don't think you give a fuck what you look like, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Send me a few rugby league pictures of you, Max, because I don't know if I've still got them in my phone, in my phone chat. Yeah, we'll take everything over yeah. there to save a load of space. But send me a few pictures of yeah. you, rugby league and all that. Were you looking at a complete helmet? Yeah. You, you, <laughs> Max, weapon up. Not the first. Max, if you want weapon. Try a top Terry. Hey, eh? I try a top Terry, shall I? Max, if you if you if you won Weapon of the Week, Max, right? If I decided to pick you as Weapon of the Week, do you know what you would do where you live in Scarborough? You would streak up and down the street in a pair of Frank Bruno flip flops, wouldn't you, Max? <laughs> So when Frank Bruno went walking up and down on church in Essex and a pair of flip-flops and fuck all else on, they locked him up. Fucking hell. <laughs> Jesus. Well, Imagine you know. doing that, Max. That'd be you, that, wouldn't it? Head gone. Mm. Max been knocked back for his licence by BBB of C. Nah. Right. Always a plan B. Always a plan B. What, mate? <laughs> There's always a plan B regarding that. Listen, always a Matt, plan B. Listen, I'm not a fucking plan. Listen, I don't have a plan B. You like fucking weasels like you. Listen, mate, I'm full fucking plan A. Full steam ahead. If it don't work out, that's it. I'm either I get to the goal or skid row. I don't want to be one of the middle ground <laughs> guys like you. This is the problem with society now. This is the problem. You, you say out to anybody like, oh, well, if it don't work, I can always do this. Full steam at all them people in life, mate, who, who get on. They're not like, oh, well, if it don't work out, you know, like Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, if yeah. it don't work out, well, we can always like sell burgers in McDonald's. Max, I don't want to hear about plan B, so fuck off with your plan B. Right, you've got some stuff on you on your phone you wanted to ask me about, and I'm willing. Yeah, to- I do actually. You feel yeah, I do actually. Even though. <clears throat> I've had a few glasses of apple juice. Uh, <laughs> and some, a few. Uh, not herbal apple juice. Oh. <laughs> Bite me, have your back, you fucking no good cunt. So, we had the Ring Ring Magazine Awards. Um, train of the Year. You had Eddie Renee, so... Well, um, what did I say last month on the channel, is, uh, first couple of days in December? Who oh, did I say we're going to win it? I think I answered the Ben Davidson. This is the first time yeah. Ben Davidson were putting his CV out, what he'd done in 
2021. And I said, Ben Davidson, this is on my channel. Why are you putting this out, you fucking dick? Or your weapon or your helmet. He's in one of them, isn't he? Yeah. And they were putting down everybody that he beat as a trainer. But, and, and also, he was a second in the Haney fights, wasn't it? Am I right, Max? Yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah. What I forgot to mention is they were a second in the Billy Joe Saunders fight. Billy got beat. I didn't see mm. a red block on his, on his post. All the silver greens. He also forgot to mention when Jack Bateson punched the fuck out of that Mahmoud or Mahoud or however you fucking spell it. His fighter, Ben Davidson's fighter. Yeah, you fucking know, don't you, boxer size Ben? You're no good, cunt, <laughs> Roland. Fucking no, don't you? Sniffing around other people's fighters. You've been sniffing around a few more, haven't you, the last few weeks? Sniffing around people's fighters when they've not left the fucking trainer. You fucking no good cunt. Well, Ben Davison, let me tell you. Ben, you know, don't you? You fucking know. Go on anyway, Max. You were saying. Yeah, and like you had like the runners, the others were bring were in for it was Ben Davison, Shane oh, McGuigan. Um, How the fuck is Ben Davison even an equation? Every fighter that he's ever had has been somebody that's been handed on him at, on, on a plate by MTK. MTK. Yeah. Nobody there fucking safe, fuck all. They're all like, ooh, filling me fucking nappy. So what? MTK are involved with Ben Davidson. They're giving him fighters. Who gives a fuck? Do I give a fuck? No. Well, you think Shane McGuigan would be... Hang on, hang, on, hang on a minute there, Mac. If it were Bob Arum or Eddie Earn or Frank Warren, any cunt else, Don King, Sowlands, fucking Dennis Hobson, any of them, Neil Marsh, Steffi Bull, any, we'd be saying something. Oh, it's MTK. Mm. Or oh, we'll not mention it. Oh, the fuck? They don't mean fuck all to me. They don't pay me a wage. <laughs> I'm giving an opinion. Fuck them. Like all of them. If MTK have a world champion from debut and they bring him on right, I'll say, well, fucking done. But mm. that, to me, stinks what went on there. And the, the, you can go on forever. Well, you... Do, do, do you think Shane McGuigan would have been, like, worthy of it? Worthy of what? Well, maybe it will in for the running order for it. A ring trainer at year. Yeah. Ring magazine. Eddie Renoso won it today. Yeah, yeah, I know that. But do you think oh, you mean they're really the people really like running? It? Yeah. And uh, listen, yeah. Eddie Renoso were a clear winner. Shane McGuigan and Ben Davidson are pushing themselves as the as the big noises, aren't they, for the young up and coming trainers? I ain't got a mm. problem with that. Shane's had a leg up with his dad, but hey, listen. Nobody is a bigger Shane McGuigan fan than me, All right? Go on to my channel. What did I say a few years ago? August 2018, what did I say? Shane McGuigan punches the fuck out of Mikey Garcia. You know what everybody said to me? Oh, you fucking weirdo. You're Barney McGuigan arse licker, bloody lot. Listen. Don't be slagging Barry McGuigan off boxing fans. Go and look at his mm -hmm. CV. Go and yeah. look at it. The guy's a living legend. Yeah. Don't slag him off. You go on about his, his lad. Well, his lad's been fetched up with it, hasn't he? And he was a top amateur. I don't know why he didn't turn pro and all that. That's between them, isn't it? But him mm -hmm. and we, we were involved with his training team and that why he didn't turn pro, but Nobody can dispute that he hadn't rose. He, he's in the top. He's easily in the top ten. And you'd say he's top five, wouldn't you, in the world, wouldn't you, at the moment? For someone yeah. that young. Well, isn't that good? Isn't that a good thing? Why, why is he going to get a raw deal because he's not MT fucking K or involved with that lot or mm -hmm. Eddie Earn or Aram or any of that lot? <laughs> Somebody say he can't train. He's not a good trainer, is it? 
He's fantastic, isn't he? If you hear him, look, just because somebody sits down on an interview, Max, and can do well in front of the camera, it don't mean they're a fucking great trainer. But it, it proves it pudding with him, isn't it? Him and he's only a babby, you know, why is he 30? He's a babby. Yeah. yeah. Babby. Could you imagine him in like, what's Jimmy Tibbs, 75, 74? So 10 years. Could you imagine Shane McGuigan when he's 50? Be awesome. They'd be queuing up for him, wouldn't they? Be queuing up. He'd have 10, 10 world champions in his gym. That'd be the aim, wouldn't it? A bit like Manny Stewart. Kind of thing, you know, that kind of thing. It'd be like eight, ten champions yeah. or, or Brendan Ingle, that kind of level, wouldn't it? You think? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think so. But, but did you think, I'll tell you who else, it was quite interesting. Um, Lomachenko senior was in run for it, uh, U6 coach, U6 coach. Well, you'd say he's in mix, but. This is how society looks at it. You don't see a fucking peek out of him on social media, do you? That's what I mean. It's always a loud mouth who wins it. And why is why is nobody queuing up to train with him? Because they make him fucking run in the snow. You go out there, you're running in the snow. That's Dave Allen. Dave Allen went out there. How long did he do? Set keep him. He sent him back within a week, didn't he? He went to Friday, he was back one on the Wednesday, Dave Allen, when he went to <laughs> Ask it? Dave Allen. Go on, Dave's in. Yeah. At least he's, Dave had the bollocks to go out there, but let's have it right. Also, God knows what he thought was going on when Dave Allen got out there. What was this? <laughs> Fighting Chisora. <laughs> let's see here, what's going on here. What, what else would you want to talk about, Matt? Do you like fucking old... Um, yeah. of the yard. <laughs> wow. Well, um, yeah, the fire of the year, Canelo. You'd have to give it, wouldn't you? On achievements alone, Max, wouldn't you? Fights regularly. Max, if I act regularly, he's taking home between 35 and $40 million a fight. So people are dining out off him. Everybody's eating at the table, aren't they? They're all world yeah. title fights to get, so unifications or unifieds or ring mag belt fights, that, that sort of level. They're going to bend over backwards for him, aren't they? He's got a country behind him, hasn't he? But is he that good? I thought Ryan Rhodes explored flaws in him, but he was a lot younger then. I thought Matthew Atten showed things yeah. he didn't have at the time. He couldn't get him out there, could he? And I thought Trout or what, it, what was the other one? One of them I thought might have nicked it or it could have been a draw. I forgot. I might be wrong. It was, I'm not sure if it was Trout or some other guy. There were a couple of Lara. And Golovkin. I thought Golovkin beat him first time, but I could see a draw. Second I time, I could have seen a draw. It depends who's in your in your corner. When you're in the west coast of America, you're going to have certain people in your corner, aren't you? You're from Europe. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Canelo's Mexican, but they've adopted him out there. Look. Canelo couldn't stop him, could he, like he could everybody else? Whenever whenever somebody can't be stopped, there's always scrutiny about the scorecard. Everybody can see it differently. This is why they should let us all have at least a 13th round, just, just one more round. Let us have that one more round. Because everybody's trained for 12 rounds. Let's see if they can go that 13th round. And you just might get that stoppage. If you get 50 stoppages a year per country on that, it's done its job, hasn't it? We're not going to be arguing about no. fucking Steve Gray's, Howard Foster's, Victor Laughlin's, <coughs> fucking uh, Ian, what's his name? L Lewinson, Ian John Lewinson. Him, people like him, Terry fucking big fat Terry O'Connor. Who gets slated by Andy Patterson and Tommy Allen and yeah. Smith, all them boys, Steve Wellings, the 
on the baseball. The am- asylums launch him, don't they? Terry O'Connor, you fucking no good cunt. Next time I see you, don't fucking go. Oh, what's that way, Porky? Flick my fucking chain. Who the fuck are you? Terry, kneel before me, you fucking bent cunt, and apologise to Yui Fury for Yui Fury versus Parker. You fucking bent cunt. Absolutely. Mm. Don't want it. You bent yeah. cunt. Oh, anyway, God. anyway, go to Annabelle! Go to Annabelle! The Dark Lord is the best! Adam Boob, Happy New Year. I like Adam Boob, man. People dig him out, they say his teeth are too perfect. Adam, in April, my new teeth will be perfect because I have picked zirconium and the same design as Chris Uban. Gotta wait. I'll get some right fucking before I get them in ring. I'm like, oh. well, <laughs> okay. My mate says, Porky, when you get them, you know what I'm gonna say to you? Your next pinball card. I was what, Jeff? What are you gonna say? He goes, I'm gonna say, Porky, you could eat your fucking an apple from a letterbox. Wait, is that it? Is that your story, Jeff? Jeff, that's your story for coming and sitting in my company. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. <laughs> I'm only joking. So, Max, have you got your son of birth? Well, right. Well, why do you oh, have to always ask it every time I'm on? Max, you're not back for the other side, are you? Well, why do you have to keep it there? I'm not. I was going to say so. I shouldn't be. You're shooting about. You've seen me, Max. Woo! Yeah, I've got a bird actually. I'll send you a picture actually after this. I'll ah, send you a picture. Listen to me. What whatever happens to any any holes are fucking go. Where are your fucking brains, mate? No, no, mate. No, no. I'm a bit old school. Oh fucking old school. What? You're gonna fucking you're gonna date somebody six months and then <laughs> fucking peck her on cheek. Fucking get a grip, Mark. <laughs> fucking <laughs> <hell> fire. <laughs> Fuck off, Max. Max, uh, what planet are you on? Uh, yes, I've got birds. Oh, Max. You've seen that. Right, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, you've seen my bird when we did that. Bit. We've seen that, like, the birds have been out with. Yeah, we went Max. to Manchester. Yeah. Maybe you're not with her now, are you? Yeah, no, no, I ditched her. She's no good. Clingy. Oh, fucking hell. When I see me here, we are we here. Well, like he's paid her to fucking come and meet me and Mickey. You paid her. Yeah, and you've seen pictures of our previous lasses, right? And like, come on, I don't do bad for myself. Paying women, Max, to sit next to you in McDonald's. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Max, you're fucking. You don't have any luck, Max. You need to be in shape. Look. You know that red leather jacket I've got? You like it, don't you, right? I'm saying... Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. You get down to 16 stone, you can fucking take it, mate, because I get so much stick with wearing it. You can take that cunt and pretend to be Michael Jackson. But, Max, if you can get down to 16, Clem, it's yours. 16 is tough task. I'll give it a go. Definitely give it a go. I've got about fucking four Clem to go. Do you have a date for this? Or... Max, you could knock four stone off in one year. So that leather jacket in my fucking wardrobe yeah. here is safe with all the other fucking whatever how many I've got. Oh, so wait, you're safe, telling man. me you're, you're telling me I'm not four stone off in six months, mate. Easy. So would you have me hundred pound on top of the leather jacket bet then? Right, yeah, okay. Then we're, we're doing this by. We're right. doing this by. So we're Max. 16 stuff head on, yeah? Uh, what, what are you now? About 20 clem? I'm not telling you where I am. Right. Well, you were 19 stone 10 the other day, and we've had crimbo since then. You're 20 clementines. If you get that. I'm, I'm 19. What, <laughs> Max? Go on, Max. You're trying to say what? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, what you're going to do is you're going to hand those notes over so crisp, right? 
but I've got to have a t- the d- date. We have to have the date by it. Right, six months to yeah. lose four stone, right? John, Fett, the June. March, April, May, June. Mike, 30th of June, if you're not 16, Clem, I want 100 notes. If you are 16, Clem, I'll give you 100 notes and what and, and that, that, that leather jacket that cost me fuck all anyway. They sent me four, mate. So mm-hmm. you can have that. I'm keeping other three. I like the white one, even though I look a dick in it. Black one's my favourite, and that blacky grey... Uh, black. I think you should let me have a choice. No, fuck off. I've had them altered anyway. Not <laughs> you were with me when I had them altered. Uh, right, you're an XXXXXXL. What the hell? I'm a... What? <laughs> I'm a fucking hell now. Fuck off with all your exes in it. There's no on me now, Max. I don't want to be a fucking fatty boy club. Fuck it, hell. Every time I see you, you're fucking chewing on something. You're like Roland Browning out Great Jill. You're the one who feeds me, mate. Yeah. It's your my guest in my area, mate. But when I say, do you, do you want a dessert with that, Max? You're supposed to say, no, Porky. All right. You're not supposed to order something with fucking custard. <laughs> Anyway, you greedy cunt. Five shandies. Nah, you fucking you, hey, listen, mate, fucking if you want to be right. a fucking man in my company, Max, you get five vodka martinis. You don't fucking order five shandies. the fuck out of me. You don't even drink, you weirdo. Now he's lying, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck. Sure on lies. You're a shandy man. You're a shandy man. You know I drink drive. I've got problems in my head, haven't I? When's the last time I drank shandy? You, you name your time, I drank shandy. You had five pints. The time and place and when it was, I drank shandy. Gas lamp, October. You had five pints of shandy before you steak. Five pints, Mike. That's, that's real. Max, that's, that's, that's fucking real. Yeah, but I was driving. I was driving. I had excuse. I was driving. You have had two lagers. Took edge off. It's not against law, is it? I don't know. I might go that wrong. Five mm, shanty. You might as well have ordered water on a match. You want to go in goldfish? Anyway, <laughs> go through your list anyway, fucking Jack Regan. That's really annoying. You you remembered that. Fucking out. <laughs> go through your list, you cunt. <laughs> so Fury and White. What's, Dylan, what's White, Dylan White's in this position. We can't knock that. But all this about, he should have had this position three and a half, four years ago. It's a lot of bollocks. In that period, the IBF, WBA, WBO, where it could have fought Joshua at Wembley for 5.5 million, the same as Bob Adams offered him, as the guaranteed, the downside. That's the guarantee. The upside, if it if it does mega numbers, that five point five can climb to ten point five quite easily. It's happened many many times with boxing fights in the UK and many 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 times in America and many times in Europe. So Dylan White's had his opportunity, but he hasn't took it, has he? No. What do you think, Max? Um, <clears throat> look. If he's the can man, right? He's going on saying he's this, he can do this, he can do that, he can he'll fight anyone, right? Okay, let's say the first bid is 80 20, yeah? Take the 20, beat Fury, then you can dictate what you want to fucking do a bit, right? You know, what, 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 yeah, it's one fight dinner. How greedy do you want to get? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I, I, I see, I don't get a dinner away. He, he cries, he's, he's the boy cry wolf, he is a bit. Too much, and I'm, I'm getting sick of the story. To be honest, his his fucking antics. You know what I'm saying? Well, the first thing I'd do with that is I'd say if I were working with Dennis, I said, Dennis, what do you think of this? Dennis said, Look at it, and he'd go. He said, Russell, first of all, forget the percentage. Don't talk percentage. He said, Dillian down. I said, Dillian, right. What would be the lowest? lowest lowest ballpoint figure that you would take to fight fury the lowest and he'd give his lowest well i'd like to think that dillian white would be sensible 
I think he'd get the same money as they were offered for Joshua, but half a mil more. It's an harder fight. And say six million lowest. Dennis would then go back to the TV networks who were dealing with it and the promoters, and he'd mention that. And that's how Dennis, Dennis used to deal with things. And I used to watch him on, I'm not just talking stuff like that, I'm talking scrap. And other things, and all sorts, hotels, finance, stuff and all sorts. And I'd soak it up like a sponge. I, I used to soak it up like a sponge and I'd be like, you know. And I'd look at somebody and think, well, they can come from a scrap metal industry and move, in that ind and move into that world. I just mm -hmm. having a few balls to the front. But Dylan White should really be saying, look, I'll take six mil minimum. But if Dylan White don't get this fight next and they go for Ilenius, and then he, he Tyson beats Ilenius and he fights Joshua or Usyk, Dylan White's no man's land. Well, Dylan White could fight Joshua. Usyk beats Joshua, so Dylan Joshua. Tyson beats Ilenius. So Tyson, oh, I've got that wrong. Well, no, I know. I think that's right. No, because what what's going to be is no. Joshua's going to fight Usyk again, and that be it. That's him. Yeah, Joshua's going to have to get the Tyson, scraps off. Tyson against White. Sorry, I've, I've lost my train of thought there because I've had a few fucking swirls of that. <laughs> and to give me some a nice whiskey. People keep giving me things. Tyson against White. I like to think Tyson does him on points. Dylan White's tough. He'll not get knocked out. And then and, and then I see Tyson against Usek. I see Usek schooling Joshua again in a points win, like I made all that money on the first one. And then that leaves Tyson against Usek and Joshua against Dylan White. Dylan White's still in the mix, isn't he? He's in that four mix. It could yeah. end up Dylan White Usek or Dylan White Joshua or Dylan White Fury or Joshua Fury. It could go any one of four ways, couldn't it? You see where I'm coming from, Max? Because they're selling them to us. Dylan White's been sold to the boxing fans as this guy who was in the mix. But he won a vacant British against Ian Lewinson. He's never fought for a European and fought for a world. So why is people like Barry Hearn and people like that losing the shit over Dylan White? Johnny Nelson and Adam Smith are not losing the shit over Dylan White. But they were when they were there, but they're fucking not now, are they? Turncoat cunts. Am I right? Turn coat cunts. TCC. Mm. TCC, isn't it? That's what it is. Isn't that right, Johnny? You fucking no good cunt. And bean, runner bean, could have been, should have been, never been, baked bean, creepy bean, beanie. Beans on toast. <laughs> Beans on dog shit. But Paul Stiltskin were fucking on to you, you know, we're cunt. <laughs> Okay, a gentleman who wants to remain anonymous who sent me yet another few more of these. I've got 20 of these now, Max. I'm right tapping front, aren't I? I'm that, you know, my, my good friend, uh, E.T. for my parking, Donny. He used to say, he's a, he's a woodpecker. He's a woodpecker. I mean, peck, 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 peck. Well, I, I don't even know these people and they sent me some more of these, but these fit better than the mother ones. No offence. <laughs> I always feel great on when they're free. So, <clears throat> so basically, I mean, when we're saying about the mix, those four in the mix or whatever, Yeah. well, where's Joe Joyce? What, what's Joe Joyce going to do? Joe Joyce and Ergovic and Tony Yoker, nobody wants to fucking go near them. Derek Chisora, Dylan White. Why don't you mention about Tony Yoka or Ergovic? Ergovic's an any fighter. What other one I mentioned about? Joyce. Oh, Joyce. None of you fucking mentioned Joe Joyce, Ergovic, or Tony Yoka, do you? Shithouses. Off of your heads, cowards. Chisora and Dillian. Fucking hell, fire. They're just blagging public because they're entertaining outside of boxing. They're growing the brand. But you've got Yoka, Ergovic and Joe Joyce 
they're not entertaining outside of boxing, but they smash them up in the ring. So, so is boxing turning into a circus? Your statistics are there. Well, I've just told you. You know, back in the day, boxers would come out to the ring wanting you know, a fucking peek out them, would you? Now they all want to be Jake the Snake or fucking Hulk Hogan, don't they? Or the WWE bullshit, isn't it? Yeah. The fucking which shrieked fucking mullet. Yeah, Joe right, Joyce. I like to see him. I'm right. Oh, I'm all right, Maxie. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think Joe Joyce should be. Do you know what, I want to see Joe Joyce in with someone who wants to give him a go. I want to see him in because he keeps getting. Look, it's like he's knocking eye over bloody school caretakers, isn't he? All the time now. I want to see him in with someone. Oh, Joyce, you know when I hear him talk on TV and on internet and on YouTube, he sounds like he's talking to me underwater. <laughs> Am I going to fucking sit here and say he's like, sounds like Clark Gable? No. Sounds like he's talking to me under fucking water. Joe, pop your head above the water when you talk in future. Fuck out of here. You haven't done... You haven't done your Frankenstein impression recently. (laughs) Sam Jones, come see me, a little prick. (laughs) Um, Yeah, Um, Brooke and Khan. Brooke Khan, it's a dog with fleas. Fucking hell, fire. I like Amir Khan and I like Kel Brooke, and I've met them both. Uh, More conversations with Amir. But I think Amir Khan's a smashing kid. But I think his best days are behind him. Kelbrook, I think he's a nice kid. I think his best days are behind him. Should they have this payday? Yeah, fucking tour out the show. They put the fuck this spilt blood, sweat, and tears. Is it a piss take in the current climate with what with what they're throwing at us with for quality? Yeah, it is, because there ain't really much many... How many better fights is there than Brooke Khan? The fuck Not many. many. is there? So, are they rock... From a business point of view, you've got to get Kel Brook's team, his dad and whoever's behind him, and Amir's team, his dad and whoever's behind him, you've got to say, well done, chaps. And the good people. They're all boxing people. Terry Thompson, Shah Khan. Yeah, fucking let get a few quicks. It pisses Eddie the air now. On the, going back a few years, would it be pay-per-view on the current state of their, their boxing, what they've got left in tank and all that, and what they can bring to the table? They ain't even a belt online. No, is it fuck? But they put the time in, haven't they? So why fucking begrudge them a few quid? As long as them cuts down Essex don't get out of it, no out of it. I don't give two fucks. If they'd have been getting something out of it, I'd have been screaming for a fucking murder. So good luck to them. That's what I... Who say. wins it? Hey, Who wins? Who wins? Just think it's 50, <laughs> isn't it? You say Kel Brook's more powerful. You say Amir Khan's faster. Kel's round his eye sockets is not going to last too long. I mean, his chin ain't going to last too long. It could be like Porridge, we're on a bar, Ronnie Barker, you know, where they had that fight and they both landed at the same time and went like that. It could be like that. It'd be a million dollars. <coughs> but I'll tune in and I'll pay my pay per view. And let me tell you this Kel Brook's all right, you know, he's a nice lad. And Amir Khan's a smashing kid. He is a smashing kid. Anybody who goes, and go, goes in Amir Khan's company, Amir Khan's company, and speaks to him. He is a smashing, well-mannered kid that's been fetched up correctly. And his, kid, his parents should be well proud of themselves because he's turned out all right. Kel Brook, he's a nice kid as well. He's a nice kid. You don't hear out bad about Kel Brook. He's had a few skirmishes as a young kid. He's from a bit of a rougher track than I'm here. But he, he's not ended up at Nick, has he? You don't hear any stories about him doing this or doing that on the internet. So good luck to him. Mm. But I'm going to feel quick out of it, Joe. At least fucking Eddie Hills ain't getting out out of it. The 4 and 0 ice man, free by way up. It's fucking hurts, <laughs> not mine. So fuck you, Coogan, you cunt. <laughs> you fucking arse-licking cunt, Coogan. 
Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> People ask right questions in boxing. Fucking arse lickers. Listen, I've heard the stories about interviews from IFL with certain people, and they've rung them back and said, can you chop that last 20 minutes off it? What the fuck's all that about, eh? Boxing media. Do me a fucking favour. Isn't that right, Coogan? If that's wrong, come and see me or come on here. What else do you want to ask me, Max? Um, <clears throat> Warrington and Martinez. Well, yeah, there is uh, we heard the story today. Uh, Eddie hearn has been in talks with Martinez's team and Warrington's team, uh, and that's that's just about where it's going. Kid Gallard's got a contract. If he lost his world title, he's got a rematch. Eddie Hearn's doing talks with Warrington and Martinez, and trying to keep Gallard sweet with another fight to get his confidence back. If I'm wrong, come fucking see me. So I think Galahad, he had, he had that. It's just, a, you know, uh, do you know what it is? <clears throat> Kid Galahad, I just thought Dominic Ingle gave him poor advice in that fight. He just was oh, just garbage. I don't mean to dig him out, but I just think, I don't have confidence when he's in the corner. You know what he says and stuff, you know. and Ooh, then, and his, Yeah, he, he just... What he says. Reflexinator. Yeah. Dominic Ingle, have you been giving Liam Williams fruit, berries and nuts in a special Ingle shake and he's not happy with it? Because I've heard he's left because he didn't put any honey in the shake. If that is that right, Dom? If not, come see me. Tell me the real story. <laughs> Yeah, well, like I said, I think uh, Kid Galahad. I, I think I'd have him to beat him next time around. So. To beat Martinez. Yeah. Yeah, fucking hell! Look, let's not have, let's not get this wrong, wrong here. Like Martinez, <laughs> fucking won the lottery, didn't he? Yeah. Lost every ten second block of the fight in all them ten second blocks, didn't he? All right. Yeah. Six yeah, yeah. For every minute, we know how long the fight went. So, you give him a share of two 10 second blocks, and you give Kid Gallard the rest of the fight. It's one of the things, isn't it? But Kid Gallard should be given the opportunity to go fucking turn him on his head and get his belt back, shouldn't he? He might have to take very little money, but go get your belt back, kids. It's better in the long run. Or you could be at Wilderness now. Oh, it could happen now. This could be a no contest and a rematch. You're in wilderness then, you're getting older and older. Mm. I don't want to hear about down the line. Let's fucking have it now. Uh, De Gail Groves. Let's have it now. Mm. When you're at your best. Mm. Max, let me, let me just go re- have a piss and uh, get another drink there. Yeah? Two sex. Just stay there. Tell us about your top 10, Max. Your top 10 pound for pound while I go have a piss. I have to. Oh, top ten pounds pound. <clears throat> so be obviously you're gonna have Canelo. You're gonna have. Oh, you can have Crawford in there. Terence Crawford. I'm not doing top ten. Not a chance. I'll just keep it at five. You'll have Fury in there. I like Josh Taylor. I'm gonna do an all dash, all like a ambitious one. Ryan Garcia. I'm going to say this to him. I bet he rinses me. He's going to absolutely crucify me. You watch. Backside's going to go like that. Yeah. All right. Okay, me. It's probably uh, trying to find it. That's why it's taking so long.
show me yesterday's people. People are interested in my boxing and stuff. <clears throat> Six years ago, I got that in my first ever charity fight. Sure. Uh, in the <clears throat> I did a top five. Well then, Max, why are you up to five? Go on, man. I did, so I did obviously Canelo, Canelo. Fury, <clears throat> um, Terence Crawford, Josh Taylor. I, and I chose a one that I like, not for top like what everyone else thinks. Ryan Garcia. Who? Ryan Garcia. That little fag. <laughs> can't say that. You can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. Oh, he looks like a little girl, mate. He's not a boxer. Get on, man. Max, what are you doing? To oh, hang on. All right. Hang on. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Give credit where credit's due. His fight against Luke Campbell performed well. It was a good fight. Campbell's never won anything above a Commonwealth. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hang on. But he's. Just because he's a god there. like you, Max. You don't mean to say he's fucking Godzilla. Do me a favour. Josh Whale won a British. That's better than a Commonwealth. Commonwealth. So what the fuck's Luke Campbell won? All he's done is piled a few quid up uh, off a good amateur career where he fucking stayed out of range. Luke Campbell in amateurs stayed out of fucking range. He didn't like a tear up, mate. No yeah, asshole. True. No asshole, true. mate. No offence. Fuck- he found a niche because he looked like the boy next door to get a few fucking quid. <laughs> and he were much careful. That's the bottom line. I'm not going to fucking yeah. piss ball, yeah? Yeah, true. Yeah, no, you Curtis Woodhouse won a British title, and he's a codhead like them. Mm. No offense, Kurt. Oh, you will. Kurt will be singing. Kurt, Kurt, you can get Stella and I know in smaller cans. You don't have to get it from petrol station. You know, them big ones, about two quid. You can get smaller ones if you get four. It averages out about one pound ten, Kurt. I'm supposed to be seeing it, seeing him next week. You got his big fucking chum, aren't you? Well, I'm, I'm sparring one of his heavyweights, and like, and he's, and I've got when you when you say stuff like, I've got to go up, man. Hey, listen, mate. Anybody who can win a British title at boxing, years and years after after playing at Premiership and England under twenty ones. Obviously, he's got mental strength that you could never teach. He could probably turn professional at cool now, and within six months, if he played with me, he could be a prof- he could get his pro license. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying whether he's going to win out. He could pass his pro license. Mm-hmm. I could get him through that easily, easily, mate. He and do you know what? They'd all turn out to watch him. He, he, that football thing is open doors for him, isn't it? Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, you know all this stuff with um so you got um Decker Heggy be that Christie again and all that stuff on pay per view and stuff like that. What I mean, what do you think of all that? Well I saw the uh, the Decker Heggy fight against what's his name, Danny Christie. <laughs> Christie. I saw the fight online and I thought it were a proper fight. Mm. Both got stuck into each other and you've got to tip your hat to both of the men and they give it a draw, didn't they? Yeah. So yeah. I tip my hat to it, to, to that fight. I don't know what the beef were of her. He said, she said, it's all bollocks. But they've had a fight and it's been a draw, but they're both not lumps out on each other. So you'd have to give him credit, wouldn't you? I do. I, I do feel for a little, a tiny little bit for Decker in a way because he's all has this shit put on him. But where's the actual concrete evidence? It just seems to be made up and all this stuff. Yeah, do you know people on social media when they say things, man? If it, it depends what platform they've got. Some people buy into it, some don't, don't mm, they? Yeah. So you've just got to let it pan out. My advice is don't comment on it. You can't, yeah. say he's guilty, you can't say he's innocent. Just let it pan out and then have an opinion on it. Or yeah. if, if there were people coming on board 
or going on other channels and doing interviews saying they wanted to make a complaint about Decker because he'd done this or that. You can understand that, but there haven't been that, has there yet? No, it's nothing. Not like what, how you've done it, you know what I mean? Pardon? Not how you've done it with, you know, the boy, those lads coming on with, you know what I mean, thingy bob. But you know there's people who accused Penn for <laughs> Because they yeah, said the bit, and there were other people that were gonna were, were, that were exactly. to change their minds, and it all sort of petered out, didn't it? But they, I never, I asked them, they told their story, and got, I ain't done nothing wrong. You know what I mean, but if, so you're damned if you do, and damned if you don't. So my advice is stay out of it until people come out and actually say it with a mouse, mm. or let's see some proof on. If it, I don't know, if they give proof on paperwork, people are going to say it's fraud or it's not fraud. You can go on forever, so you, you don't see us doing videos on, on here. And this is the first time I've been asked about it by you, so I prefer to stay out of it. I don't know them. I don't know any of them. Yeah. I don't know, so... Yeah. I don't know, it's, it's social media, if you play the game. But that's how I love to it. You, you don't know... I don't know, if somebody come around here on social media and said that you were fucking Mad Axeman of Scarborough and you'd fucking done hundreds of fucking people and buried them, Max, what would you have to say about that? Uh, what would you have to say about <coughs> Fight my corner, tell them to fuck off. You know what I mean? You fight your corner. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know. in the midsummer, Decker's going to come out tomorrow or something and pull his police record or whatever. I mean, how can you get a police walker anyway? Because all offices are shut, aren't they? So, four for John. It's, it, it's like this. It's like the thing over that fucking knobhead down south, right? Oh, knobhead. Turning you a Oh, fucking um, manky teeth boy, right? Oh, Turning right. around. So, Danny Connors. You know, when he said that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's like, well, when did it happen? Where did it happen? And who do I supposed to be grass on? Couldn't name any of them. Couldn't name any of them. So why did you say something five years ago? <laughs> so well, yeah, 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 but it's social media. You have to take it as a as a as a compliment and move on, don't you? Yeah. You have to take it as a compliment and move on. But the Zeka one, he wasn't just an isolated incident like that. You've got people coming spoke. It's been like full on, hasn't it, for him? Kind of thing. Every time I turn my fucking telly on, there's a fucking somebody doing a video about him. Listen, all these people have got a problem with him. Look, if you've got a problem and you think he's guilty, go get at it with him. Be arranging fights in arenas, just get, get stuck into him. Mm. Yeah. You know, if people have got ulterior motives, where does they want to financial gain off a bit of publicity or what I don't know so you, I, I've tried to stick I'm not giving an opinion on it I hope that what is deck has been accused of isn't true yeah maybe I hope it isn't true if it is true I hope he gets porridge that's mm. all I feel about it he don't pay any of my bills here you know what I mean when my kids Nick me for a few quid. It's dad, we want 20 quid for Roblox. Pair of them. For your 40 <laughs> sobs. He don't pay that, does he? I'm like, 40 sobs? There's only one in 99 from corner shop and ice cream. £1.50 each. No. Ice cream's for old people. We want Roblox. I'm like, Jesus. He ain't paying that, is he? So until he's paying no. that, I don't give two fucks about any of them. Next question. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> JP and his Christmas. Ronnie Partridge. <laughs> so I know what you're going to come out with. <laughs> you're in <our> bed. <laughs> you know about that where I showed you, don't you? Right, people yeah. are saying that his name is not John Fury, it's John Partridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> When I've seen that, I couldn't believe it. That'll be out, that'll be out soon that on social media. Oh god. Why has he changed it to Fury? <laughs> I don't know. 
I hope it's a load of bollocks. <laughs> to probably get me fucking done in proper. Fuck, fuck, your head's gone, yo, your head's gone. <laughs> so what do you think of him in his little tin can? <laughs> JP. <over Christmas>? JP. <laughs> yeah. JP, I like JP now. Look, he's got false teeth, but he's not admitting it, is he? JP, no. you've got false teeth. Come out and admit it, JP. <clears throat> you caught with no teeth in your mouth. But no, mm. he deserves respect, Max, because you're a professional fighter for 13 Ooh. fights, winning eight. So he deserves respect. He deserves respect for being Tyson's dad. He deserves respect because he had a bit of a set to work with somebody. Went to prison for four and a half years, got out, got through it. You need respect for that. You only did. 10 week in Nick. Five mm. years and years, mate. Yeah, no. Hard work, mental strength. He's tough as old boots. You know, like you always say to me, oh, you don't get shit, you're tough and all that. He's the same, isn't he? He's a, he's a lot harder than me, but mentally. Tough, isn't it? I'm not saying it's a good route to go down, Max, going to prison and that, but... No, nah, no, nah, it's not. If you can get through it, you're mentally tough, in my opinion. And millions of people don't go through it worldwide. Thousands in the UK. And it's not that. The families are tough as well, because they have to go through it as well, you know. Mm. Girlfriends, mm. wives, mothers, aunties, sisters, daughters, all visiting the chosen one who's doing porridge. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. All right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, tough old game, and it never leaves you. I don't give a fuck who you are. If you've done a six month in jail, and that's all you did in your life, and you're like my age now in your fifties, it'll never leave you. I've remember every second of it. You fucking know you do because you got fucking smashed up on it every day, Max. Be a dinner money. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I remember because, <clears throat> like, when they first take you in. It was like an induction. <clears throat> so they take you in. You're in like a cell by yourself. They induct you into the wing. <clears throat> so I was in with another three lads in the cell. Okay, it's four of a share and one. And here's a small cell. What it was. Anyway, introduced me to him. Right? They fucked off out. And all of a sudden, this big fucking C-U-N-T came in. And he uh, <clears throat> emptied his bin bag. And he pointed at me and said, <clears throat> this big knobhead came in. And he emptied his pin bag. But I said, you are the bitch in this wing. I was like, what? He goes, you are doing everyone's laundry. Oh, is that right? I said, is that right? I'll tell you what I said. If you can make me do that, we can do it. I'll do it. Until then, off you fuck. And with that, a couple of snooker balls in a sock, he started hitting me with it. And we at it straight away. Let me just stop you there, Max. That story you just told me, it's like you're like some fucking road man on wing in jail. I know, I know, what I'm not. Fuck off, man, fuck off, man with your road man stories. You're not a fucking road man, you're a marshmallow. That's what happened, Mash, so. That's a shit. I'll tell you, tell you now. I've seen you sparring Chris Smedley's gym with Nicky Smedley. Max, you're a fucking soft marshmallow. I'll tell you what, I didn't get any shit from them that, that day on. Lucky, so you know what I mean. You were like that. Uh, uh, uh. Fucking hell, you went to <laughs> the <blue> elbows. <laughs> At least you took it on chin, Max, or should we say elbow? Elbow. <laughs> <laughs> elbows. Nicky can whack, can't he? Oh mate, his back's better now. I'm fucking Listen, not looking mate, forward to that. I'm here calm for the first round, mate. And I'm here calm my like lightning then set about him in that ABA final and he won mm. ABA final year after and I think with Dennis he went 16 and 1 I think they fell out at the end probably because he probably lost his first defeat I don't know I'm not sure if Nicky lost that after 15 or 70 I don't know but he can fight Nicky he can punch mm. he's got his dad behind him as a trainer 
I remember reading paper round here and all you used to get back in them days was Kev the Rock Burton or Steffi Ball or mm. Nicky Smedley. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, mate, they've got to be given respect because they got in there, which is more than we've done. They've got to be given respect. You put gloves on and have a spa or something, but it's not the same as getting in there with between 300 and 3,000 people watching you. No. Bit different. No. Dave Allen, look at Dave Allen. Probably European level in gym, schooling people who had really good CVs. European level. Put Dave Allen in a ring on night, a European level fight, it crumble. So what's the mm. difference between fight sparring in a gym, fighting in a gym, fighting under the lights? There's a different out of pressure, isn't there? And maybe as you, as you people who speak our minds on YouTube and things like that, maybe we don't understand that jump from sparring to amateurs to doing it mm. on the stage. I don't know. <coughs> but mm. they have to be given respect, don't they? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah. Great. What else do you want to ask me, Max? That's about it, really. Right about it. Is that the fucking? Is that it? Is that your story, Max? That's my list, mate. Did anyone ask me about Daniel the Bar? What's happening with him? Well, what's happening with Josh Kelly? People like him. Josh Kelly don't get a mention, does he? No, it's nothing about. I put something on Instagram the other day. I said, "Are oh, you hanging up gloves?" Put a reply to it. He goes, "You watch what happens next three months. You watch." That's all I had. The reply says, so "Something's coming. He's going to announce something." Yeah. What do you think to uh, the situation with Fury and White? Really? Give me, give me your honest opinion, Max. Finish on that. Well, <coughs> mm. I just think White's burnt it all out, and he, but both of them—they're just a circus, aren't they? They're just a circus. That's all. Gonna, they're all a circus. Fury, Fury's going to like circus it all. So's White, and it's just going to be adding fuel to the fire each time. It's going to go around. If there, if there's a fight on offer, just take it, White. Just take it. It's your golden opportunity. That's it. Yeah, you know I mean, stop fucking around. Fucking no fights are happening. Nothing's happening. Feels like is it you're in a time warp. You know what I mean? Here, nothing's happening. What's happening with Cash Alley and uh, Dave Allen? What do you think Dennis has got lined up for them, Maxie? <clears throat> well, don't don't Cash, Cash Alley have that European title? Yeah. So he's got to defend that. But you want to see a good name? I don't want to see a knockover. IBF European. Yeah, so I don't want to see a knockover. But you like to see that cheap Range Rover next door to mine, though, Max, so his cousin's got one, yeah? Yeah, I would like that, yeah. <laughs> Go on, Max. Big Max in Range Rover, trading Volvo in. I would do. <clears throat> we'll see soon. Very soon. Yeah, look, would, you, would, you get, would you get a bird, Max, if you got a Range Rover? What? what, what look, I, look, I told you, I got one. Yeah. Don't need, I don't need. I could have an escort. I still have a bird. Max, I want to see you with a bird holding hands, walking down the street. Like when I was fourteen, I used to walk around school like that, holding hands. I want to see you doing that, Max. <laughs> holding hands with a chick. That's what I want to see, and then I know that you're all right in my company. So if I was fucking, if I was gay, you'd be fucking safe. <laughs> oh, man. You could take a bit of banter, Max. I like you, Max, because you could take a bit of banter. You know why? Right. Because you're a big fucking dummy. That's why. I'll tell you what. This is nothing what you, you give me in person. I'm late by five minutes. You fucking rinse me. Jesus Christ. Fucking turn around. Say, you fucking <laughs> prick. You know what Mick Whale once told me? I went round to Mick Whale's house one night. He goes, yeah, yeah, I'll see you at six. I went, okay. I got round to Mick Whale's house about five past six. 
Mick Whale was stood at the door like that. I was, what, 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 all right, Mick. He went, no, it's five past. People die in wars and all, because he's ex army, isn't he? I was like, oh. So ever since then, I've been a bit of a stickler for time. And then I'm dealing with dummies like you. And you're like, oh, yeah, one o'clock. And you're like, you're near at like quarter to two. And I'm like, where were you? You went, oh, oh, traffic. I'm like Roy Keane, mate. Did you hear about when Mark Bosnich had his debut at Man U and he turned up an hour late? Roy Keane tried to choke him in toilets and said, you don't ever be late. It's Man United, this. I'm like that, mate. Don't ever be fucking late. You're meeting Big P. All right, Maxie. Listen. <laughs> I hope you have a good... What day is it today, mate? What, what time is it, Mark? Because I've had a few shirts. It's half night. Well, you've got... Oh, oh no, I'll see what I'll get him to jazz it up. We'll get it, we'll get it out beginning of the year because I'm like steamed up and I forgot which part of the video that you went, oh yeah, I did rugby league. Oh, you were fucking shit, Max. I'll teach you about rugby. You fucking can't play rugby. I've got a rugby <laughs> ball in my office. Well, it's in <laughs> football, but and and I've probably had a grip of that ball more than you have in the last 20 years, Max. You shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> just fucking hell. You, you shit everything, Max. Why don't you just jump off a big bridge, Max, and be done with it? Right, don't top your side, though. Unless I'm in the film. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, fucker, I do <laughs> oh, What I'll do, I'll send this to Cameron now so it won't go out. Is it 30th tomorrow? Yeah, no. Yeah. Yes, so what it is. time is it now, Mark? Because I've got I'm doing half, China, half nine. Half, half nine. nine. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm I'm like fucking up at four to go to Mickey Theo's. I'm like, fucking I'm doing. You it. won't be up. You won't be up. I, I guarantee mate, it. Listen, mate, I'm a four hour man. I'll do mix. Do see Mick all day till whatever at night. Then I'll go to Kent. Do whatever I've done. Bet you're telling you're not on the road. And what? I bet you're a tenner. You're not on the road at five. I will be. Yeah, yeah. Listen, mate, I've right. proved you wrong before. I'll, I'll go see you always. I've got to sit at Kent. Then I've got the other side at Kent, see my mate. I'll be home for 6 p.m. New Year's Day. So, so we're bet, betting a tenner that you're not going to be on the road for five in the morning. We're betting I'm that on bet, that now. I'm not betting. I'm not <laughs> betting. <laughs> Why not? I'm not betting. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm just hoping there's no fucking rock road tomorrow. I'm not so going to... A1 to Essex is a fucking nightmare, you know. Hey, listen. A1 is a nightmare because, you know, when you get to Camp Cambridge, they take you on yeah. this fucking stupid detour. And it's a nightmare. A1 to Essex is a nightmare. I'm going to go M1. We did, we, yeah, we, we, I know that because we did that when we went down there to yeah. front out Furies. We went M1, though, didn't we? No, nah, not the way down there. The way one, the way. Yeah, yeah, because you said yeah. it was quicker. Yeah, it, it's 30 mile better, but it's uh, 28 mile quicker. Yeah. Sorry, like it's 28 mile less, but it's same, you know, time limit to get there. But I'm going to go M1 because when I came back M1 over there, I did it in under three hours. Which That's is a joke. Cool, isn't it? 180 mile, 181 it is. Mm. 54 or like mm, can give it some oil. Hey, listen, I've done Nokia in three hours. People say, oh, it's bullshit. 343 mile. Ask anybody. I did Nokia. I fucking blew it up at Blythe. 343 mile. I did 330 mile. <laughs> Got to Blythe and, and fucking blew it up. 190E Merc and went back donkeys. Donkeys mm. when people are running around in fucking Sierras, mate. One night E Merc auto J Reds 2.6 auto mm. 145 all the way back, but you don't get in that 145 for every hour. Because every time I looked at clock, we've done like 100 mile after one hour, 198 mile after two mile, after two hour, 301 mile after three hour. You know, you're averaging like round about 100 forever because she fucking fought. It's a straight road from Nuki, you know. Mm, well, the, no. 
Loads of people I know go to Nuki from Yorkshire. Do you know what they do? They take the registration plates off the cars. They put them up back seats and front seat. And if they get pulled, you can whip one onto the front, front windscreen, which is all it, within the law. Whip it onto the front windscreen. And you can throw one up back, can't you, quick? Like coppers mm. walking from back of your car to the front. What can I do? Can't you fuck all? Get your toe down from Yorkshire to Nuki and Nuki to Nuki. <clears throat> Set off from Nuki about nine o'clock at night. Got, there's got to be a time to do it. A quicker time would be one in the morning to to like 4.30, wouldn't it, or 4 plus? Yeah. It's all about what's on road, isn't it? Mm. You're not a fucking 80 man, you want my way, Max. Only if you make it from your Volvo as a caravan. Told on back. <laughs> all right. I'm just saying, though. Most <laughs> old people I know, Max, drive a car like you. My uncle Dave's got a car like you. My mum's brother, <laughs> he's, he's got a yeah. car like you. And when I see it, I think of you. Oh, thank you for that. <clears throat> thank you for that. And, and you love my car. I like how you I, I like how you say, oh, your car's pretty nice when you see me in person. And that, and you're like, it's okay because I'm driving around in the fucker. You don't complain then, do you? Max, your car's like a fucking square house brick going down the street. Were you in <laughs> it? It's like you've nicked your granddad's fucking car, <laughs> mate. Jeez. How are you in general? Did you have loads of turkey on Christmas Day, Max? No, I had um, a pork joint. A pork joint, you fucker. Yeah. Pork, that's bad, that, mate. You're getting like Andy Pirro. Andy Pirro. Fucking hell. What's your uh, date of your next fight, Max? 29th of January. If. Uh, if it happens. You know. We don't, we don't know, due to, due to the COVID situation, what's happening. Because it can all change in a blink of eye. Spedley show. Yeah. What's it, we're 19th? 29th of January. So, 29th of January, but it should have been December. Yeah, 11th, yeah. All you've got to do is go and date Nicky's gig, you haven't you, really? You've got to stick to that. Uh, yeah, yeah. But you're heavyweight, you don't have to make weight, do you? No, no. Just gonna keep fit. I'm keep running. I'll be up again tomorrow, running. So that's all I can do. Okay then. Well, listen. You stay fucking safe. The fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger, the running man. <laughs> yeah. And you try not to be fucking Lewis Hamilton down in M1. Yeah, I'll promise. I'll uh, I'll be on that motorway yeah. in six. Uh, and when and when you don't send me a text five a.m. and give me a tenner, I like that. Go I'll on. send you a text, Max. Five a.m. Say I mean, I'll be running. You, I'll, you'll send be, you a video. Yeah. I'll send you a video when I get in my car in the morning, whether it's 5 a.m. or 7 a.m. <laughs> Mickey Field be like that at nine o'clock. He's like Sergeant Major. Uh, where are you? It's two minutes past nine. Oh, Mick, where it is? I'm uh, just going by Nottingham. <laughs> no, uh. I'll send you a text when I go up motorway to let you know, all right, Officer fucking Jenkins. <laughs> no, no, don't bet me now. All right, well, listen, Mark, go on, get your sin off. You bought it fucking bollocks off me. Peace out.